Hi, I'm the old school fish guy. And you can call me Don if you want. And for those of you, and I, I get asked this once in a while, um, yeah, my, my email is oldschoolfishguy at gmail.com. And you're welcome to email me questions. You throw them in comments down below. I love reading the comments. Love, 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 love reading the comments. Really appreciate them. I find them very encouraging. I don't say that so you make more comments on mine. Although that's nice. I say it so you might make comments on other people's videos and encourage them. Because whether you try and encourage me or not, don't mean I'm going to quit. Doesn't mean I'm going to work harder. Um, I'm self-motivated. Encourage each other. Today I want to talk about snails. Um, I mention them every once in a while. Once upon a time I hated snails in my tanks. Hated, hated, hated. Um, and, you know, I guess there were reasons. Uh, these days I keep snails in all my tanks. And, you know, if you want pond snails or ram's horn, you don't really have to go out of your way to find them. You buy plants, you're going to get snails. <laughs> but, um, you know, from most sources, you're going to get snails when you buy plants. Um, I'm going to talk today about various ways to eliminate snails. And uh, most of these are going to be old school. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Um, and I, I guess the biggest reason I, I fought against snails was because uh, snails, most snails, some snails will eat fish eggs, some fish species, maybe not others. Um, I just don't, I'm not an expert on that, didn't like it. I used to try and breed all my fish and uh, don't worry about that so much anymore. I might get back to doing that. So. Here's the thing, the reason I keep snails now is it helps keep the tanks clean. I, I will be shooting a video soon of, of at least one of my tanks. Uh, yeah, they're still pretty dirty. Um, I've still got one that's over two years now with no filtration in it, way too many fish in it, and virtually none are dying. Uh, snails are a big reason for that, by the way. They can help keep a tank clean, even with no filtration. Um, so... I, I, oh, and by the way, just because pond snails and ram's horn, they reproduce, you know, faster than bunny rabbits, I keep assassin snails too. And if I get too many snails in one tank, then I scoop a bunch of assassin snails out of another tank and throw them in. Um, I have assassin snails in all my tanks. I, I don't know, 50, 100, I don't know how many assassin snails I have. Um, so I, I just sometimes shift them from one tank to another. Never enough to eliminate snails, but uh, always enough to help keep them under control. So here's uh, th an old school approach to keeping snails under control or eliminating them before they get in your tank. It is the one I have preferred over the years. Um, well, no, let me let me start with another one. You know, in uh, pre-1981. Pennies were copper. Starting in 90, 1981, they started using more zinc than copper. So, pre-1981 pennies only. Um, put them in a filter, uh, hang them in a mesh bag and just hang them in the tank. Um, I suppose you could throw them in the bottom of the tank, I don't know. Um, I've heard people talk about using pennies to fight algae, algae and ick and um, I'm not sure if, if that works or not. I've never tried it. Um, but do not use pennies if you have scaleless fish or uh, invertebrates, your shrimp and such. So um, what I used was about one penny per gallon of water for a, about a month. Usually it didn't take a month and all the snails would be dead. How do you know? You see the snail shells laying all over. <clears throat> now some of the snails are under the sand or gravel. Um, 
you know you don't see their shells until you stir it up um, believe me they're probably still dead anyway um, one question people ask then is do the dead snails because the pennies poison them if, if some of the fish are eating on those dead snails does it kill the fish no haven't ever heard of that happening never um, so I mean I imagine if a fish ate a whole lot of dead snails but you know the bigger the fish the more snails they could eat and, and copper doesn't have seem to affect fish like I say except the scaleless fish and a few armored catfish um, this this approach is not dangerous for plants um, so if you like plants like I do um, this is a good approach I have used it um, up, up until fairly recently I had a collection a small bowl of 1980 and earlier pennies and I just throw them in a mesh bag and hang them off the side of the tank and you know but I'm not doing that anymore um, so let me go to my favorite oops give me that piece of paper camera had a hold of it I fought the camera and I won <laughs> so my favorite approach towards dealing with snails is potassium uh, permanganate KMNO4 um, so let me start with this stuff is toxic handle with care I'll give you two reasons why you want to wear gloves and I'm not talking about ultra lightweight surgeons gloves I'm talking about something a little heavier duty uh, maybe some of those modern mechanics gloves that are somewhat like surgeon gloves um, but are heavier duty um, even dishwashing gloves don't use them for anything else um, potassium permanganate is toxic do not use it also it will stain anything it touches including your fingers your hand your your skin in general clothing um, and it it doesn't come out for a skin for a very long time or a whole lot of scrubbing um, if you get it on your it oh and by the way the color it's a nice bright purple if you get it on your clothing the best thing to do is take some distilled vinegar white vinegar and just soak it in that and it depends on the material you might save it um, your skin um, two three days two three days assuming you know how to take a shower every day um, so what do you do uh, take about a gallon of water uh, about temperature of your average tropical fish tank 76 78 80 degrees take about a gallon of water add a half a tea tablespoon of uh, potass potassium permanganate and stir it uh, quite well um, you want it to be a deep blue almost purple um, again this is one of those things where you get a nice big long stir stick and you never use it for anything else okay potassium permanganate I have some in my storeroom it's in a five gallon bucket <coughs> it's about <coughs> the buckets about a quarter full keep it sealed last forever I have a paint stir stick that I use to stir it and when I'm done I throw it away because I don't like storing those and they're cheap um, the gloves are right next to the bucket I use the same gloves um, you dip your plants in there for about 10 minutes you go longer you're gonna kill plants and some plants are gonna die if you do it at all uh, Madagascar lace plant for instance that's the first one I killed with potassium permanganate um, it, five minutes will kill Madagascar lace some plants can't handle potassium permanganate um, so think about it but it is effective 10 minutes no more um, I, I'd say 8 to 10 I'd rather err on this side of caution I might get a few snails but not many but snails reproduce um, when you pull the plants out rinse them thoroughly um, what I do is I keep another five gallon bucket with just water in it and I, I put them in that water 
and then when I get ready to pull them out of there because I might do a whole bunch at once then I put them in the sink and I run more water over them um, rinse them well okay an another approach I've used and I didn't like I only used it once um, it, it killed far too many plants for me uh, Sagittaria worked fine Valisneria I killed them um, and I find them rather hard to kill so um, straight bleach um, it's a little harsher than potassium permanganate we're talking chlorine here people um, and use 20 parts of water to one part of bleach um, so you dip it for three minutes um, maybe two minutes for something delicate like moss um, small leaf plants Madagascar lace again like I said I killed the Dallasneria with it and that shouldn't have happened but um, so dip it for about three minutes and then rinse it real good um, and I just keep a five gallon bucket throw it in there rinse it in the water and pull it back out comes off easier than the potassium permanganate um, a safer but less viable um, solution that I have never tried but I've I know of people that have done is they used alum um, they use about three tablespoons per gallon of water and uh, I had to go look that one up because it's been like 40 years since I knew anybody that did this um, and you leave it so the plants to soak in that for two or three hours um, it'll kill the snails and even delicate plants usually survive just fine um, if you're doing delicate plants do it two hours everything else do three hours if you uh, fall asleep while you're watching a boring football game and it's in there four hours, you'll be okay probably. Um, probably the best thing to do, depending on what kind of fish you like, um, is puffers and certain loaches. Uh, horseface loach maybe. Um, uh, the uh, Any of the Botia family basically. And here's the thing, uh, even, even if you have snails in another tank, if you can't keep a tank with some puffers in there because they don't get along with anything else, um, put lettuce in the bottom of your other tank. When you got all the snails attached to it, pick it up, put a little glass in the water, put in that, bring it up, dump it into the puffer tank, they'll be happy, happy as can be. They love snails, and snails actually help puffers um, keep their teeth um, from getting too sharp or whatever. Um, so there you go. Those are some approaches towards getting rid of uh, snails. Different approaches, different, what do they say, different strokes for different folks. Um, and then there are always the chemicals that everyone uses today, and you can buy them everywhere. And as I've said before, I'm not a big fan of chemicals. Yeah, I listed some here, but I don't like chemicals in my fish tanks. So I don't typically use uh, fertilizer because that's chemicals, you know. So I've talked about that before. You think about it and figure out what works for you. There are a lot of options and I didn't list them all. Mostly I, I listed the ones I knew of. And you might find some others. If you do, put them down in the comments. I'll add it to my list for uh, uh, when I do another video just like this one. You know, in like 10 years. <laughs> hey, we're in this hobby to do what? Have fun. Bye.